This is my final thoughts on the products that I've tried so far from the Sephora Clean Collection items that were sent to me. The only things I have not tried yet is the hemp mask. Haven't tried it yet. Kind of scared to in a way. And I have not tried the pomegranate mask yet. The charcoal dental exfoliating wipes. I only used these on my face that one time that you saw me use them in the video. These I used to remove swatches on my hand. It is too abrasive for my face. The grapefruit gentle exfoliating wipes. These I also just used to remove swatches from on my hand or on my arm. Because of the, I don't know if it's the citrus in here or the perfume that's in here or there's something, it irritates my skin. So these are a no-go for me. I know I say it a lot, I'm going to say it again. I have very sensitive and very temperamental skin. And I am sensitive to fragrance. Not only skin-wise, it may break me out, but also my nasal allergies and my eye allergies. So I am the perfect person to try out products, especially when they say, you know, non-comedogenic and hyperallergenic and all of that stuff, dermatologist approved and tested. Test it on me. Let me try it and I will let you know. <laughs> the other things I have tried, I did try the Spirulina face mask. And the reason that this is in a plastic bag is because the scent... The fragrance in this, whether it's just a spirulina or added fragrance, it is so strong that even after I used the mask, when I had just, just the covering and the trash can under my kitchen sink, every time I opened um, that cabinet, it just like, then my eyes would start to burn. I'm just like, what is that? It was this. And so because of how strong it is, the scent is or the fragrance is, fragrance is I had to put it in a plastic bag because I wanted to keep it to show you that I did actually use it. Um, when I put it on, I know I have a chubby face. When I put it on, I'm going to insert a picture. I ended up cutting a little piece here and folding it over because it was kind of like right here on my face. And you'll see it like around my mouth and my nose. And I'm pretty sure that some of this was seeping into my eyes because it was like right here until I cut it. This thing had so much serum in it, which is good if your skin is dry. I'm normal here on the perimeter of my face and I get dry in, this, in, in the winter. Other than that, my T-zone is oily. And so for all of this serum that was in here, oh, I did wear it for the time that it said to, which it says for five minutes, super cool. And I took it off and then you rub in the serum and it says, you know, no need to rinse. Um, I rubbed, rubbed, maybe because my skin isn't dry. I mean, I was like massaging it in probably for like a good five minutes. And then my skin was really tacky and sticky. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like this is not absorbing. It took probably like 15 or 20 minutes for it to fully absorb in, for my skin. And that entire time, I'm smelling it, and I'm just like, <sighs> I ended up washing my face after like a half hour, because I just needed to get this scent away from my nasal passages. But I did use it. The other one <laughs> I used, and that's why I'm, I'm kind of hesitant to use the hemp mask, and I'm hesitant to use the pomegranate, because I want someone to use these that really enjoy using face masks and my experience with sheet masks have not been good and so I want to try it because I did say I would review these products and it was in this humongous package that they sent me at the same time though I feel like if I don't like it it's a waste but then if I do like it then it's a plus and so I'm kind of here nor there and they're not really expensive like five dollars or seven dollars or something um and I already know that hemp has a scent, so I'm, I'm, I don't know. I did use the cactus foot mask. <laughs> um, it forces you to have self-care me time because you put these on and then you just sit there. And it recommends that you don't walk around with them on. And so leave them on for 20 minutes. And so I'm like just sitting there on the sofa with my feet propped up. <laughs> So you put it on like a sock. You have to find, and it's not in here, but you have to find inside, there's, um, what is the word? There's like a sleeve inside. And you put your foot in between, oh, I can smell it. 
and you put your foot in between the sleeve. And because of how moist it is, it's like one of those um, plastic bags at the store for your vegetables or your fresh fruits where you got to kind of like, okay, how do I open it? Where's the inside? You know. So it was kind of that kind of deal. But once I was able to find where to put my foot in, my foot did slide in. It felt very cooling. I can smell this. Oh. Um, very sensitive. I keep, I'm not, I've been saying that for as long as I started my YouTube channel again. And then there's a tab you pull to tighten it around your ankle. So put this on and you sit for 20 minutes. Then you take it off and you massage the excess serum into your skin, into your feet. And my feet were sticky for like 15 minutes. And so I'm still just sitting there on the sofa like, when is this going to dry? And I didn't want to get up and walk around with my feet sticky. So I ended up just putting on a pair of aloe socks and just left them on for like an hour while I was watching TV. Um, my feet did not feel any more moisturized than when I put on lotion after shower, dry my feet. Well, take a shower, dry my feet, put on lotion, and put on aloe socks. That to me worked better than this. However, this does force you to sit down and just chill out. So if you need something to do, <laughs> that may help your feet. Like if your feet are really dry, this may be really good for you. But again, it just took me so long to rub it in and then it took so long for it to dry. I'm like, maybe my feet are not the type of feet for this product. Um, but if you need some pamper time or if you're just constantly on the go and you're like, I just need to sit still for 20 minutes, put these on because you will sit still. And it tells you, as I said, you know, don't walk around when you put these on. So. <laughs> Yeah, so that was interesting. I had never used a foot mask before, so I was interested in trying that. I had also never used, um, let me back up. This says cactus foot mask. I also never used a hand mask, and this says cucumber hand masks. Very strong scent. So I was just like, <laughs> so the same deal with <laughs> the foot mask. You find where you put your hand in, and then you peel back the tab and you tie it around your wrist. Putting it on one hand was fine, but it's hard to find the tab and to get the tab when you have one glove on this hand trying to peel off and put on the other one. So that was annoying. The tab should be longer or easier to take off when you have one glove on and you're trying to undo the other one. I did get them on, the same deal. It says leave it on for 15 minutes. And it, so you just sit there. <laughs> <laughs> and I did rub it along my cuticles while, while the gloves were on my hand because my cuticles were really dry that day. And I'm like, this would be a good time to try this mask. And so I did that. I took them off after 15 minutes. Massage and the same deal with the socks. Massage, 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 massage. My hands were extremely sticky. It took me minutes upon minutes upon minutes to rub it in. And... Then I just sat there like this because going like this, I, I could feel it was sticky in between my fingers. If I went like this, it was sticky. If I went like this, it was sticky. It took like 15 or 20 minutes for like the outside of my hand and my palms to feel dry. But still like in between my fingers, when I would go like this, it was still just really sticky. I don't know what it takes. And maybe my skin isn't dry enough. And it says no need to rinse. But because... <sighs> But because of the scent, I ended up washing my hands after like 40 minutes because <laughs> I just couldn't take it. It's good if you want to pamper yourself. And I think that's all the products in here except for the eye cream. The eye cream, it felt soothing going on. It, it, it applied really nice. It irritated my eyes. Um, I gave that away already. I think I'm just not the right skin type for some of these products and even though they're the clean products there's still ingredients in here or a combination of ingredients in some of these items that just does not work for me so thank you for watching if you have any of these products if you have tried any of these products let me know how they work for you or if they didn't work for you um, if you have any ideas or you want to collab for a giveaway for the lip products or for the three foundations uh, so I would say for those foundations 25 27 29 they're too dark for me I'm a mix of the 21 and the 23 for color reference my perfect shade and cover effects power play foundation is g60 
my perfect match in the Estee Lauder double wear stay in place makeup is 4N Spiced Sand. And MAC Powder Foundation, I am an NC42 with zero tan. An NC43 medium tan. NC45, <laughs> I don't know, fingers. NC45 with a full tan. And so right now I'm probably like an NC43 because my tan is fading. This is zero tan. NC42, NC43, NC45 was like a month ago. So that's it for this video. I don't want to babble. Thank you for watching. You will see me in the next video.